Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. No contact. What would he or she say? I'm using three decks. A.E. Wait. Aquarian. NASA. I'll shuffle and pull three cards from each deck to form three piles. All of my pick a card readings are for the general collective or entertainment purposes. If anything resonates, that could be synchronicity. I am always available for private in depth readings, which I do on my webcam as pre recorded videos. All of my information, including my PayPal address, is included in each and every description box. Uno mas. Bueno. Uno, dos, tres. See all these show up on camera. There's that one. There we go. Trace, you know, does trace, you know, does trace. Pile one, pile two, pile three. You chose pile one. Here is your reading. Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, The Magician, Strength, The Chariot. Two of Pentacles, the Empress, the Hierophant. I feel like you're going to hear from this person this summer because we have these three summer cards in a row. Not in chronological order, but we have Gemini, Leo, Cancer. I feel like this person would tell you they see you as the Queen of Wands. They see you as someone who possesses this beautiful, exuberant, lively, 
vivacious fire energy. They see you as someone who has manifested this beautiful balance to your life. They love that you have self-respect. They love that you have boundaries. They love that you are a master at balance, equilibrium. Right now, this person does not feel like they match your energy. They could be dealing with anxiety, depression, financial problems. They're trying to be strong, but they're going through a really tough time right now. They see you as the epitome of beauty, grace, composure. They see you as someone who is very much in your element. You're at the peak of your power. You're manifesting and your life is really good right now. Their life is not quite as good as yours. They're struggling. And so they feel like they don't have anything of real value to offer you at this time. Um, it could be that a shift occurs in cancer season, which begins in late June. They could be in a more stable place and they could reunite with you and there could be good feelings, celebration. I will pull a card for clarification on pile one. Please provide clarification in one card. What would the person represented in pile one communicate to the viewer right now if they could? Please show this communication in one card. The lovers. And I'll tell you, it's very tricky having a tarot channel at YouTube and knowing that some people believe they're on a twin flame journey. Some people believe in twin flames and soulmates. Other people don't. There's just this division. So it's hard to really speak to that. Some people are triggered by twin flame talk. But when I was looking at this pile before I pulled the clarifying card... I was thinking of describing the Empress as the Divine Feminine. I don't want to get caught in that trap of constantly worrying how my messages will be received or perceived by my audience. I want to read the cards as I see them. And if I see a card that reminds me of the Twin Flame Journey, or if I feel like saying Divine Feminine... I want to do that without filter and not worry that I'm triggering someone. So, regardless if you're on a twin flame journey or not, I feel like the connection shown in pile one is divine. And by, by divine, I mean there is true love here. There is a depth a feeling there is a singular connection to the couple shown in pile one. So what they would communicate to you is that they feel this tremendous love for you and that's not going anywhere. 
regardless of the circumstances, regardless if they're struggling right now with finances or self-esteem or whatever, they feel this connection to you. And they do feel that it's divine. And they do feel that what they have with you, they've never had with anyone else. So that's pile one. And if you chose pile two, we have seven of swords, nine of cups, ace of swords, wheel of fortune, queen of cups, the sun, knight of cups, ten of wands, the moon. I feel like this is your person of interest. The Knight of Cups could be a few years younger than you. You're the Queen of Cups, a few years older. You both have water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mars. There could have been a breach of trust. There could have been a lack of balance and communication. Um, this person could simply be in a place right now where they're not ready to commit to this relationship. This person would tell you that they feel drawn to you. They feel this pull. They feel like the Wheel of Fortune is spinning toward them communicating with you. What would they communicate? They would communicate that they know you've been through a lot together. They know you've put up with a lot from them. Um, they still have romantic feelings for you. They still feel this connection They regard you as someone who has a lot more maturity and life experience than they do. You have a greater capacity to love than they do. They would tell you, I know that I cause you stress and frustration. I know this has not been the easiest relationship but I feel like you're the moon to my sun. So I feel like they do feel this love for you. And it could be, possibly, won't resonate with everyone. It could be that you have a sun-moon connection and synastry with this person. Um, especially if a man's moon is conjunct a woman's sun in Center Street, you're going to feel like soulmates or twin flames. You're going to feel that connection. It's extremely powerful. You're going to feel this sense of completion. It's one of the most powerful aspects to have in Center Street. A man's moon on a woman's son. I keep seeing the Ace of Swords a lot. It comes up in my readings of this channel. It comes up in the readings that I do for clients. We're in Gemini season right now and I feel like A lot of couples who have this kind of connection, this kind of um, spiritual resonance, 
are going to reunite in these next few weeks. There's going to be communication coming in and it's going to be very loving and apologetic. So that's pile two. And if you chose pile three, four of pentacles, nine of swords, knight of wands, seven of wands, two of pentacles, Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands, Six of Swords, The World. Oh, Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands. Okay. So we have the one court card. Hmm. So I feel like your person of interest is the Knight of Wands. They have this fire energy. Fire, 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 fire. They could be Aries. Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mars. This is one of those people who doesn't really think before they speak. Um, their mouth gets them in trouble. They have a quick temper. Very passionate high sex drive. They are willing to fight for what and who they want. They would tell you they're not letting go. They are not letting go of this connection. They're saying as much as it hurts, I love you and I want this. I see a painful separation. I do see the desire here for a mutual exchange of energy. I do see that you match in intent. I see this person coming towards you. Could be long distance. They're saying, I'm strong enough to tough this out. I want everything with you. The world is the fixed signs Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Fixed. Stability. Um, they would say, I'm in. I'm all in. I don't care how hard it is. They would say, you are the most challenging person I've ever known in my life. This is the most challenging relationship I've ever had in my life. But I love you. I'm not letting go. I'll pull a card. I'll pull a card for clarification on this. Please show. Please clarify in one card an energetic summation of the relationship shown in pile three. Sum up this connection in one card. Two cards flip out. I keep shuffling. The High Priestess. They see you as someone who has spiritual authority. They see you as someone who has taught them a lot. And they want to continue 
to learn from you. So there is tremendous desire here and respect. So that's pile three. And that concludes this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you massive love and light from San Antonio.